Hello and welcome back to Cultivating Awareness. Today I am here with my friend Alicia and we're going to be talking to you about Black History Month. So let's get right into it. Black History Month, as we know, takes place in the month of February. It is used to celebrate and acknowledge important black people who have made important contributions to our country. The month originally started as only a week called Negro History Week. It was designated by historian Carter G. Woodson. The second week of February was originally chosen because it includes the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln, February 12th, and Frederick Douglass, February 14th. As the week became increasingly popular, it was officially recognized by the United States government in the 1970s. In 1976, President Gerald R. Ford officially recognized February as Black History Month. It has been celebrated annually ever since. Now that we have the origins down, let's dive into some important black figures. In the area of politics and activism, we of course have Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. King was a very prominent activist and a political leader in the civil rights movement of the 1960s. His peaceful approach to activism helped accomplish a significant amount of change during that time. One example of this is the Montgomery bus boycott of 1955, in which Dr. King and several other African American activists organized a boycott of the Alabama bus system due to receiving discriminatory treatment. Dr. King is also very well known for his I Have a Dream speech, in which he outlines his hopes and dreams for civil rights activism and the future of American society at the March on Washington in 1963. Another important person in the area of politics more recently is former U.S. Representative John Lewis. John Lewis played an important role in the organizing of the March on Washington along with Dr. King and Bayard Rustin. Lewis was also heavily involved in nonviolent protests and sit-ins. In 1961, he took part in the Freedom Rides, an endeavor that challenged the segregated bus systems in Southern America. Before he passed in 2020, Lewis served as a U.S. representative for 33 years. In the area of science, we have George Washington Carver. Carver is a teacher, inventor, and agricultural scientist. He is most known for coming up with over 300 uses for the peanut and he also advocated for several alternative crops to cotton to prevent the, the depletion of soil. Born into slavery, Carver proceeded to run away from home to pursue a formal education, later earning his master's in agricultural science from Iowa State University. He went on to teach and conduct research at Tuskegee University in Alabama, and he passed away in 1943 at the age of 78. Another important African-American scientist is Ayana Elizabeth Johnson, a marine biologist and author. Ayana is the co-founder of multiple organizations, including the Urban Ocean Lab, a nonprofit think tank, the All We Can Save Project, a climate initiative. Johnson is also the CEO and co-founder of the Ocean Collective, a consulting firm whose goal is to find solutions for ocean conservation. Dr. Johnson has also done research on the effects of coral reef trap fisheries. She has also done research on the effects climate change has on small island ecosystems. In the area of arts and literature, we have Faith Ringold, a multimedia artist based in New York. She is most known for her elaborate and detailed storytelling quilts that often focus on ideas and concepts pertaining to the African American experience. Her work has been included in several museums, including the Spectrum Gallery and the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum in New York. She is also an author and a painter, and her written work has earned awards including the Caldecott Award and the Coretta Scott King Award. Another African-American creative is Alice Walker, an award-winning African-American author. Her most famous book is The Color Purple, which was adapted into a movie by Steven Spielberg starring Whoopi Goldberg in 1985. Her other novels include The Third Life of Grange Copeland, The Temple of My Familiar, and The Meridian, among several others. She has also been awarded multiple prizes, including the Pulitzer Prize, the National Book Award, and the Darwish Mohammed Literary Prize for Fiction in 2016. Finally, in the area of sports, we have Jackie Robinson, who is most known for being the first African-American baseball player in the Major League. Born in 1919 in Georgia and raised in Pasadena, California, he excelled in college football, baseball, basketball, and track at Pasadena Junior College and later UCLA. Our last athlete and our last important figure is heavyweight boxing champion Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is a heavyweight boxing African-American champion. In 1960, he won the Olympic gold medal, and in 1964, he became the world's heavyweight boxing champion. Along with being an athlete, Ali was also a social activist. He was very adamant in his stance against the Vietnam War. He was also a close friend to Malcolm X, a prominent civil rights movement leader. 
Ali revealed to the world that he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 1984 after retiring from boxing. He supported many organizations such as the Make-A-Wish Foundation. After battling many health issues, he passed away at 78 in Scottsdale, Arizona. There are many more important African-American historical figures that I wish we could have included in this video, but I hope you learned a lot about Black History Month. Thank you for watching and thank you for helping cultivate awareness. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you.